The U.S. Navy SEALs helped with a some type of an after actions report and said that this was likely a terrorist attack. Then one year later, the FBI concluded that it wasn't a terrorist attack, but they had no further information. Right. The powers that be did not want the American public to understand that there might be uh, terrorists out there taking out a substation. So it seems that eight or nine terrorists were utilizing AK-47s or AR-15s and shooting out, you know, the cooling, you know, facility for uh, these transformers. Let's talk about the domestic terrorism attack that happened in Medcalf, California. And how, I, the reason I wanna talk about that is it shows how vulnerable it is and how unsophisticated it can be to make, to make this amount of, to, to take the grid out. Okay, so let's talk about that. So this was 2013, Metcalf, California, which is outside Silicon Valley. And this was a major substation. So this attack, you know, was covered actually in 2022 in a January 60 Minutes story uh, that was rerun again in August. You can go to YouTube and watch that story. Uh, it was fortunately, uh, so it seems that eight or nine terrorists were utilizing AK-47s or AR-15s and shooting out, you know, the cooling, you know, facility for uh, these transformers. And fortunately, police got there. Uh, they disappeared into the night. They've never solved, you know, who this was. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we were able to divert power such that it did not cause a massive outage in uh, Silicon Valley. But it was, frankly, a wake-up call. And frankly, it was hidden for about a year until the Wall Street Journal ran a story a year later. It was you know, hidden? Yes. It what? was completely hidden. Why do you think they hid because it? Because the powers that be did not want the American public to understand that there might be uh, terrorists out there taking out a substation. It's also possible that they didn't want this to create, you know, Me Too attacks, you know, other people saying, oh, we can do this. And therefore, you know, potentially our powers that be have some reasons for, you and I both know, you know, our authorities don't tell us the truth all the time. And <laughs> yeah. so that's uh, becoming more and more clear every day that goes by. But what came out of this uh, report was FERC, which is the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission which does a lot of the regulation for our power grid. They ended up running a study and they found that if there were as few as nine critical substations were taken out, you know, just key nodes, it could cause the power to go out nationwide in the nine, United States. Nine substations. nine substations. How many substations are there? There are about 55,000 substations. And it would only take nine substations to... to Correct, yeah. Would these need to be strategic attacks? Oh, yeah. Is there nine in particular? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure there's maybe 50 that would fall within that nine, you know, and I haven't seen that report, but it would have to be, you know, key substations. This attack in Medcalf, California, they, sounds like the U.S. Navy SEALs uh, helped with a some type of an after actions report and said that this was likely a terrorist attack. Then one year later, the FBI concluded, go figure, that it wasn't a terrorist attack, but they had no further information. Right. So they, they don't know what it is, but they just know it's not a terrorist attack. Exactly. Mm. The FBI is <laughs> an extremely unimpressive organization. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Let's move on to cyber attacks. And I think, you know, actually backing up, you know, 
Another thing is this physical attack. We had mentioned at the beginning of this that China and Russia are working together. It's likely China is going to take Taiwan before the end of the Biden administration. Um, we already see Putin made his move under the Biden administration. These two are working together. You're starting to see more and more countries take sides with China and Russia. I saw France uh, was looking to drop the U.S. dollar. Saudi Arabia and Iran, they just made a deal. They're dropping the U.S. dollar. India is part of BRICS. Uh, Brazil announced to drop the U.S. dollar. Argentina wants to drop the U.S. dollar. And it looks like we've been weaponizing U.S. currency so much that now it's becoming a trend that people don't want the currency weaponized against them. And more and more and more people are starting to drop the U.S. dollar. This is coming from China. China and Russia are working together. China produces, I can't remember how much of our power grid, um, so 200 ten, transformers. You said I, nine. It's actually 300. 300. Yeah, the number 300. 300 transformers right. come from China. Right. All they need to do is take out nine transformers. And, and right now we have a wide open southern border where we already know there are people from all over the world flooding into this country. Why wouldn't China send in a couple of operatives to take out nine substations and kill our power grid right before they hit Taiwan. I mean, it just seems, I mean, if they didn't do it, it wouldn't make any sense. Why wouldn't they? It would be, it's so vulnerable and it's so easy just to send a couple of people across a wide open border that seems like half the country doesn't want to secure and, and take out nine transformers. I think it is so eminent, and I'm with you, Sean, in terms of uh, China has plans to go after Taiwan, and they will do it before the end of the administration. So that's only a year and a half away. Yeah. And it's it's coming. And so why not? Frankly, I think an aircraft carrier is going to be taken out, and then we're going to be potentially in World War Three, And when... Because I think our aircraft carriers are likely sitting ducks, you know, for the sunburn missiles, and that we will, and taking out critical civilian infrastructure like the power grid, uh, and, and maybe they don't do it nationally, maybe they do it regionally, or, you know, a big city just to alert, you know, America about where they are in terms of a, uh, Hostile act as a uh, saying, here's here's what you got, you know. Do you want us to do more? We'll do it. How long would it take? Let's say they did, they were successful and they took out a bunch of these substations. Let's say they took out all 300. How long would it take just to replace one of these gigantic transformers? In the documentary you guys talk about, it, you show how big these transformers are. I mean, they would have to remove stoplights, maybe even remove some overpasses. I mean, this is no, this isn't just a, a, a delivery of a, of a six by six box generator. This is, this is a, I mean, these, these transformers are the size of buildings. Right, exactly. There are hundreds of tons each. And therefore, how long would it take I'm, if there were three or four, it, they they could probably get it done in a month or so. But if there are 50 or 200, then we're, we're talking about chaos. Hey, everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.